Oh my gosh. And Uncle Roger, if you're watching this, feel free to check out and critique my fried rice video. It's up on my YouTube channel. Hey guys, it's Angel. So today we're gonna to be doing something different. I'm not gonna be cooking today. A couple weeks ago, I made a tutorial on how to make fried rice with Chinese sausage. And this guy's name, Uncle Roger, kept coming up in my comment section. And I have no idea who Uncle Roger is. I've never watched a video of his before, but apparently he's a YouTuber who critiques other YouTubers and other people on how to make fried rice. So I'm going to watch one of his videos on how to make fried rice and critique him. So let's get started. All right, put my headphones in. Let's get started. So, this is Mr. Nigel Ng. Let's go to his videos. Let's try and find out where he makes fried rice. Uncle Roger go on Tinder to find love. Huh, haven't seen him on Tinder. Oh, here we go. Uncle Roger make fried rice for Michelin star chef. Let's take a look at it. Hi, uh, Liz, where your fire? Where your gas stove? Well, we don't have any gas connection here, Uncle Roger, but this is not the average induction for the home. This is the top of the range induction for chefs. You get a really good wok hay. Uncle Roger want to work here, so I will try to use this. Uncle Roger gonna cook with this. It is metal spoon, but don't worry. Professional wok, not non-stick wok. So if you use metal spoon in this, your mom won't come and beat you. <laughs> First coat. Bonus points because he recommended not using a metal spatula on a nonstick pan. Pretty good for Uncle Roger saying that. The wok with oil, and this is peanut oil because Uncle Roger loved to kill all the weak peanut allergy people. Once the oil starts smoking, throw away the oil, correct so far? Yes, yeah. Apart from the peanut oil thing. But... Don't use peanut oil? No, we don't use peanut oil here because we don't want to kill anyone. <laughs> oh. They're not weak to us. This is your problem. If you can't use peanut oil, vegetable oil, okay also. Just don't use olive oil. This is not Jamie Oliver cooking <laughs> show. <laughs> okay, so he has a point there. I prefer using like vegetable or canola oil when doing fried rice stir fries and definitely not olive oil. I don't know why Jamie Oliver would do olive oil. Go nicely around the wok. Okay, first thing in, garlic and shallot. Fry it a bit until it's fragrant. Not bad. Next step, egg. Stir it around when it's almost all solid, like this. Time for the rice. Oh my god. Uncle Roger never measure because He's Asian just using people his when we hands. cook, we don't measure. We just use feeling. Did he wash his hands? Ga aga is the Malaysian way to say it. It a bit dry. I so hope I'll he washed his hands. That's gross. Now we add soy sauce. Just use feeling. We put soy sauce in until our ancestors tell us it's enough. Sesame oil. <laughs> okay, I think he uses a little bit too much soy sauce there. One to two tablespoons is totally fine. But that looked like a lot. It's gonna be so salty. And now the most important ingredient, MSG Fuyo. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's like a quarter cup of MSG. And your final garnish. Seriously? Spring onion and chili. Stir everything that's so around. so weird. This induction I would never put chilies I'm in my fried rice. Change my mind. Sorry. <laughs> I hope, offend, I hope I don't offend those people who put chilies in their fried rice. All right, Uncle Roger's got some good, like, wok flipping skills. He works oh, out. Not bad, Uncle not Roger. Not bad, Uncle Roger. Good height. You've had a lot of practice in tossing, huh? Oh, Uncle Roger loves tossing. It's my favorite thing to do. That's why Auntie Helen leaves. Who's Auntie Helen? And now it's ready to be served. Okay. Decent. See, so simple, five minutes. That's all you need for Uncle Roger egg fried rice. So I would just say like looks wise, looks like average fried rice to me. I feel like it's a little on the dark side. I think he put way too much soy sauce and, and clearly way too much MSG. I personally don't use MSG at home, but that looked like literally a quarter cup of MSG. I'm surprised he doesn't have a headache. Cook, not too bad. Okay. You're a little messy. But it's okay. It's okay. Professional kitchen got professional cleaner. When I cook right, at home, I'm more. Let's do the taste test here. We don't eat rice with fork. Okay, this is better. Eat a spoon or chopstick only. Hmm. I like that. 
He doesn't eat fried rice with a fork. <laughs> we could be friends, Uncle Roger. I personally like my fried rice with a spoon. Not bad, Uncle Roger. Not bad. Not a lot of MSG. <laughs> not a lot of MSG, just the right amount. <laughs> Who food uses MSG in their fried rice? Sweet. But nobody ever complained food too umami. So I would just say, Uncle Roger, uh, he's kind of a comedian, definitely, absolutely. Fried rice skills, I mean, clearly he can make fried rice. He, he has uh, five stars for the wok tossing, and he has some good technique there, but I think two things that I would critique un Uncle Roger for. One is, is too much soy sauce, and then second of all, no MSG. I mean, that, that's probably super salty. If he's not after that video drinking like a gallon of water, I would be totally surprised. Anyways, I hope you guys liked today's reaction video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you did, also post in the comments below and let me know how you liked it. I'm Angel, thank you guys so much for watching. And Uncle Roger, if you're watching this, feel free to check out and critique my fried rice video. It's up on my YouTube channel. Until then, take care guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.